Hello everyone, in my career I had the pleasure and honor of working with very successful people in our field. People who have published hundreds of papers, received tens of thousands of citations, and also have attracted millions of dollars and tens of millions of dollars in research grants. By getting to know these people, I observe several patterns and qualities that these people share, and I do believe that these qualities are at the basis for their success. So in this video, I want to summarize this quality patterns and behaviors in order to inspire current and future students in their academic career. But without wasting any time, let's start. The first quality that all these people share is consistency. Rome was not built in a day and similarly also research is not done in a very short time. By the time you start having an idea and then you develop it, implement it, perform the experiments, write the paper, submit the paper, and then eventually get it accepted. There could be at least one year, and sometimes even more. So what is very important is to start working consistently, making progress every day, and this small progress will eventually build up and then allow you to publish your research results in a good venue. The second characteristic that I observe very often is resiliency. So research is characterized by a very high number of failures. This could be when you submit a paper and it gets rejected, you submit a grant proposal and it gets rejected, you submit a job application and it gets rejected, etc. So it's very important to have a positive attitude, to accept criticism, and then be able to not get discouraged, address the comments that you receive, improve your work, and then submit it again. This is a constant process, and while you may get better over time, failures are always gonna be there, and you need to be able to accept. The next habit is to have a very well-established network of mentors. So we all need mentors in our career. For example, to decide where to submit a paper, or what could be the best next step in our career, or if an opportunity materializes. Is that a good opportunity or a bad opportunity? So, in order to do this, you need to have a network of mentors with different levels of experience that are able to give you advice on a variety of matters. Some may be more experienced on certain aspects, some on other aspects, some may be even contradictory suggestions, but you can build on those suggestions and then take your own experience. decisions. So, it's very important that you as a student start building this network of mentors as soon as possible by talking to people at conferences, reviewing papers, giving talks, establish connections that then are going to develop into mentorship relationships. The fourth habit that I've observed in very successful researchers is always stay up to date. So research is now evolving extremely fast. Tens of thousands of papers are published every year. And especially in computer science and computer engineering, there is a constant evolution of the field that happens extremely fast. So very successful people always find and reserve the time to read the recent advancements in our field in order to be up to date with what are the new problems, what are the new solutions, what are the new technologies that are available. And so they are able to produce new research using all these new things that are happening all the time. Before we proceed to the next point, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that this content can reach more students. Another common characteristic that I have observed about very successful researchers is to always keep a student mindset. So as we evolve in our career and progress in our career, we get more teaching duties, more administrative duties, more management duties, but what extremely successful researchers always have in common is that they always address their job as when they were students. So they're always very curious, they're always very excited about the research they're doing, they're always very eager to make progress and explore the newest evolutions that are happening in the field and to lead these evolutions towards the future. Another important characteristic is to stay self-motivated. As we said, research is a complex process that is characterized by a high number of failures that occur over time. So it's very important to have a personality which is, has a positive attitude and is always being motivated in making progress. This is also related to the other common aspect I have observed of having a very good time management. So sometimes in research, we don't really know what we are doing and what 
why we are doing it or what we are doing next. And this is just part of the process. It's completely natural. So Sometimes, you know, you find yourself just reading or thinking or brainstorming with others. So it's important to be able to allocate the right time to all the activities that you need to do. So you make sure that you make progress and you don't get distracted by professional or personal activities that may just delay what you are trying to achieve. The last point I want to make it is it's very important and also very common for successful people to have very good collaborators. These are not just mentors, but these are people that you actually work with, that make progress with you, that work with you. So you cannot do everything by yourself. Research is very complex. There are so many different aspects that go into making a successful publication or writing a successful grant. It's very hard to uh, doing it all by yourself. Some of them you might, but in general, you're going to need collaborators. So if you can identify people that are motivated as you are, and also you work very well together, so you're going to see that making progress is going to be much easier because maybe when you get stuck, the other person can help you and vice versa. And so together, the group can proceed and produce more research, more advancement and achieve your goals fast. This concludes the video. Thank you very much. If you haven't, like, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.